Hey guys, what's up, man? I just wanted to uh, give a review of some of my eyepieces that I got here. You know, I've been into the hobby of uh, astro uh, ast astronomy for about like maybe a year. You know, I figured tonight was cloudy skies, so I just might as well <clears throat> do a, do a review of some eyepieces I have here. You know, kind of. Uh, Kind of a uh, mid mid range kind of eyepiece collection that I got, you know. And I uh, hope hope you find this helpful, man. I, I just want to welcome you to this beautiful, uh, you know, hobby of astronomy and uh, clear skies, man. Here we go. Here we go. Let me try to flip this around here. Okay, you know, I have four little kids here living in this sloppy house, you know. So, uh, anyways, I got this Apache 4800, I think it is, case from, uh, I don't know where I got, Harbor Freight or something. But, uh, actually, dude, I'm sorry, man, I'm so ill-prepared for this, man. <clears throat> trying to collimate my scope, I was trying to, I cleaned my mirror, like, and I couldn't get three of the screws back in, so. That really sucks, but at least it's collimated, supposedly. <clears throat> so I like to start out with the, uh, you know, I guess the eyepieces that this uh, <clears throat> particular scope came with, which is an Aperture AD10. This 30 millimeter sur super view, man. Dude, this thing is a sick eyepiece, dude. Stars clear to the to the edge of the field of view. This thing is beautiful, man. This this thing really is worth its weight in gold, man. I think, you know, as a matter of fact, this thing is is awesome. Very crystal clear. I was super impressed with this. I was thankful, man. It was a huge blessing, man. They included it for free, you know. Thirty millimeter super view, full multi coated. <clears throat> I think it's probably like um. It's got good eye relief on it too, you know. It's probably like you know maybe sixty-eight something uh, field of view. It's got great re eye relief. The folding eye cup, you know. I, I haven't used this in a long time actually. I, I, but I was like, I honestly thought there was no no need to replace this thing, you know. But but I Explore Scientific was having this sale. With this uh, conference, apparently, that they have every year that was canceled. <clears throat> and I ended up going with the, uh, just pretty much replacing it with a 30 millimeter 82 series, you know, Explore Scientific um, eyepiece, which which is which is awesome, you know, equally, equally as awesome, you know. It's great eye relief, I don't, I don't remember what the... Uh, Exact eye relief is man. This is a, this is a this is a beast, man. It's so heavy, dude. It's it's stellar. <clears throat> I got it for like three hundred, three hundred something bucks. You know, it was definitely discounted because it was an open box. Or it was like they opened it. They were gonna use it for this conference, but it got canceled due to COVID or something. This thing's a beast, man. It's awesome. It's 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 better than than this one, you know. But like honestly, I don't know, man. You know, like not not a ton, ton, ton better. But I feel like it's better just because you know it's beefier. This thing, look at this thing in my hand, dude. This thing weighs heavy, dude. You can lift weights with this beast, man. This thing's heavy, man. It's, the, it's probably the beastiest eyepiece I got. <clears throat> and I guess we'll go we'll go down to the twenty millimeter, dude. Check this out, Mead twenty millimeter. This is an ultra wide angle, I believe. UWA. Dude, I think this is my favorite eyepiece, man. This thing is so crisp and so clear. It's pristine, dude. They like those little stars twinkle like a diamond in the sky, dude, with this thing. Two inches, just like the 30 millimeter. And it has a, uh, let's see if I can, let's see if I can uh, fold this. Hold this up somehow, dude. This thing twists up, you know? Like that. And it twists back down. It's got great eye relief. Yeah, there we go. Ultra wide angle. <clears throat> Mead, man. 5000 series, I believe. This thing is probably my favorite eyepiece. Dude, the, the winter skies, the Orion Nebula. 
this thing was, dude, the, the cloud and the gases and the dust cloud, man, filled my field of view, basically, with that, with that beautiful, I've never seen it open up like that, man. You know, it's, it's, it's funny, because I'm looking at some of these beautiful, beautiful, um, just glorious, magnificent, you know, you know, I'm a believer, so, you know, creation, so I think it's all created, um, and then you, and you, instead of thinking, you know, what a glorious piece of majestic creation this beautiful object is, you think of, man, this eyepiece is great, you know, and you like give glory to the eyepiece instead of this, there's anything, but that's, that's, that's kind of like what I think about this thing, man, it's really cool, and it's only like 150 bucks or something, I think, I don't even know if they're gonna, I got it like a year or two ago, I don't know if they're gonna discontinue them or, or whatever, <clears throat> <clears throat> you know, and, and a lot of the stuff I bought, like, um, not knowing, you know, what, what I was getting into and stuff. This eyepiece is an awesome one. Explore Scientific 11 millimeter, man. This thing's a beast. I'm missing the, uh, the cap for that one. That's a, it's a, it's a kind of like a fold up eyepiece instead of a twist up cup, like the Mead 20 millimeter. This thing's awesome, man. Very, it's great to have an 11 millimeter eyepiece, man. Honestly, I think I might have done something to this one. It's like kind of dark. It's like not as not as crisp and as clear. It's like kind of dark. This thing is like 199 bucks, man. It's a great eyepiece, man. 82 degrees field of view. And probably a 15 millimeter eye really, something like that. It's great. It's a great eyepiece, man. It's awesome. It's one of my favorites, man. I always, I always definitely go to this thing, man. It's great, you know, double cluster, you know, planets. It's, it's kind of like a mid, right, right in between, you know. You don't want to go to the super, the super wide field of view for like, you know, like M13 or something, globular big clusters or, or, or something like that. Or, you know, it's great for like, you know, M1, the Crab Nebula. If you can find that thing, I just found that. Accidentally the other night, man. It's a funny story. Okay, so that's a good 11 millimeter eyepiece. This thing's great. And then, well, you know, you know, kind of like mistakenly, I bought this uh, 10 millimeter eyepiece, which I'm probably gonna sell once I get enough posts on uh, cloudy nights. Because obviously, I don't, I don't think you need a 10 millimeter in a uh, and an 11 millimeter, you know. So th this thing's pretty cool. This it's got a, like a twist. You twist this thing, and the eye cup comes up, and you twist it down, and it goes down. That's pretty cool. It's good, man, because I got <clears throat> I got a two point five Barlow, a real cheap one that I'll show you. So that would bring this down to what five millimeters, which would be the most magnification I could possibly give my my AD ten telescope. So, uh, we got that <clears throat> 10 millimeter. I'm probably going to get rid of that one. I got this 15 millimeter, this, this little guy, <clears throat> because I was kind of like wanting something in between the, uh, 11 and the 20. I, w I wasn't sure. Super wide angle. I guess it's a 70 degrees. Sorry if this is blurry to you guys, man. I don't know why this is not. It's, yeah, it's a 70 degrees. Um, 70 degree, 15 millimeter. I, I very rarely use this thing. This will probably be one that I sell also. It's got a really interesting, the, the twist up eye cup is right on the very end there. It's kind of cool. There are no problems with it. I mean, at all, you know, it's an Apertura. It was probably like 70 bucks or something. If I can sell it for like 40 bucks, 50 bucks would be happy I guess <clears throat> I got a cheap cheap like you know 30 something dollar Barlow lens there high point scientific generic for some reason dude I'm having trouble getting the focus on this I don't do too many YouTube videos you know so this is kind of but this is just a Barlow lens man I think I'm going to keep this you know if I want to get in, I'm thinking about buying a DSLR camera and somehow, maybe this might come into play. I, I don't really know yet. But hopefully, uh, you know, I'll find out. 
<clears throat> this thing, man, is a Bader Hyperion 17 millimeter beast, man. This this part is is two inches. This part right here, dude. I've actually had trouble with this thing. I, I, a lot of people like this, you know. They they say it's the same as the Orion Stratus, basically. Which I, I probably wish I would have got an Orion Stratus instead of this. But there's also a piece I couldn't find it, but I got it that um this bottom part here it comes out and then you can screw like a another another like couple lenses in you know another piece into this bottom and it makes it a 1.25 you know uh, fits into that. But as it is now, it's a two two inch. Um, it's got good eye relief. Honestly, dude, it, it coma's really bad. I don't know if I just got like a bad um a bad model or a bad, you know, whatever. But it it, it coma's really bad, man. Like up at the end they're all they're all the stars are all like real long and stuff, and it's just not it's not crystal clear, man. I, I don't know, dude. I probably should have got a refund or something. But a lot of people think this thing's awesome, you know. I mean, you know, I, actually, I've heard really good things about the Bader Morpheus instead of the Hyperion. But you know, I guess the uh, Hyperions are just as just as good as the Orion Stratuses. Anyways, there's that one, and this one is awesome, dude. I love this one. Mead Ultra Wide Angle, five point five millimeters. If you're going to look at planets and you have decent conditions, man, if you have great conditions, this thing is a beast, man. This thing will give you some close-ups, man. This is a great one, dude. I love it. It's got great eye relief. You know, it's it's the same series as my 20 millimeter eyepiece. And you twist it like this. And it kind of goes, goes into a hole, goes into a circle. You know, to kind of like fit around your eye. It seems like, you know, there's a sweet spot in between all the way up and all the way down. If it's all the way up, it's like you kind of got like tunnel vision, you know. But if it's all but if it's all the way up, you know, you feel like you're like, man, I don't have like a real wide field of view. But if it's all the way down or like most of the way down, you're like, man, this is sweet. I got good eye relief and a good field of view. You can get awesome planet planetary views off of this thing if the conditions are really great. <clears throat> Even on the moon, some close ups, man, the craters and stuff. This thing's awesome. As far as a, you know, a 10, 10 inch uh, reflector, 5.5, that's pr pretty much pushing the limits. I guess I could try 4.7. I haven't tried that yet, but I, I want to. I want to try 4.7. I'm not good on math, you know. The, a lot of guys will equ equ equate all the, you know, 300 times something is the best you can do and everything. And then we'll move on to my filters here. I got a... Uh, <clears throat> I just got a moon filter. I used to have two of them, but I lost one in the grass. You know, and you guys can comment below if you guys have lost any any gear in the grass. This is just a cheap, straight-up moon filter. You almost need two of them, dude. The moon is so bright. And then I have a... Uh, the only other color filter I have is an 82A, I think. Um, yep, 82A, high-point scientific filter. I use that for looking at Jupiter or Mars. Kind of adds some contrast in the cloud bands there. It helps, I believe. You know, you kind of take it, take it on, put it off, decide what you like better. <clears throat> and then I have a. Uh, I think this one was around a hundred bucks, man. It's a uh, Explore Scientific O I I I. Or O3 or OIII filter. I guess it's a nebula filter. These haven't been out that long, I don't think. Not sure. But this, um, you know, I was recommended this filter. And, uh, <clears throat> and then I heard like Lumicon was like the best, you know. Genuine Lumicon filter here. This thing was 200 bucks. $200 filter, man. Uh, I kind of thought I was overpaying. Like, man, this is crazy. What is this going to do? But it really does. Oh, crap, dude. My filter just went flying over there. 
Yeah, this thing, man, it's a beast. That's funny. Um, this thing really makes the Orion Nebula just shine, dude. I looked at this thing. This thing gave it wings, man. This thing opened this thing up. That opened that nebula up like I've never seen before in the winter sky, man. That Star Nursery M42. This thing was beautiful, you know. And I and I, <clears throat> I put, I'll put this in to kind of search the sky. That's the beauty of a Dobsonian telescope, man. You can put this put this thing in or whatever, or or without it, you know, and just search the sky. You know, if something if something pops up, like wow, what the heck is this? You know, and you find out later what it is somehow by this various apps and stuff, you know, or whatever. This thing is a Lumicon U UHC filter or something. Yeah, I think it's a. Uh, I want to say it's a UHC. If my my other one's a. Yeah, but that's pretty much what we got here, as far as the eyepiece review. Um, my kit, you know, figures cloudy skies tonight. Might as well show you guys what's what's going on. You know, there's a little nine millimeter plossel that came with my scope that I've never really used that much. If I ever sell my scope, I'll uh, include that. You know, I actually got some extra, some extra stuff in here, dude, that I need to see if I can if I can put on some of my some of my stuff here. Anyways, thanks guys for watching. I hope this helped, man. Bless you guys. Have 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 a great day. Um. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.